Well, thanks for joining us. We're going to be tearing apart a diesel injector. Uh, this thing comes out of a 1981 Rabbit with the 1.6 diesel. Uh, we're going to be tearing it apart because we need to clean it up because a lot of garbage has gotten past the filter and went straight through the pump and since this is the smallest orifice in the entire system this is what plugged now in the service manual they do tell you to put this in a bench vise well I don't have a bench vise handy so come on set that off to the side because we're not going to need it anymore. We're going to pull this apart and that's what we're going to find. We're going to find a lot of rust. A lot of rust. And a lot of garbage. And don't just do what I did but I already know that this piece goes in there just like that this piece goes on top now when you pull this spring out folks there's actually a washer make darn sure that you put that washer back in there because that is what sets the preload for this spring on the nozzle if you don't do that it won't work right. It's a little chunky, but injector body parts. Uh, I'm just gonna pretty much uh, be quiet now, and you can watch me clean up this stuff. Uh, make darn sure that you got lint-free cloth here um, and an extremely clean work surface a actually folks this is actually not a clean enough work surface to tell you the truth and uh, as you can see this is a fairly clean work surface uh, th they want you to have a, pretty much a surgical operating room style of cleanliness Hi, baby. Yep. Got the kitty wanting to be in on the shot. So, uh, we're going to be cleaning. Uh, I've already cleaned two of these injectors out, so. Now, why would you want to clean these out? Well, if your motor is just a hammering, you can't get it to run right, and you can barely get it to run at all that's when you're gonna want to clean these injectors out if you've got smoke coming out the tailpipe that's when you're gonna want to pull these injectors so now for those of you that are looking for a torque spec to put these back together 52 foot pounds that's it 52 foot pounds that's what the book calls for when you put this thing back together it calls for 52 foot pounds between the top and the bottom of the body so just keep that in mind when you're putting it back together if you're that if you're very anal on that, uh, it's 52 foot pounds and it's all oh, um, into the head. I believe it's a, yeah, it's the same. It's 52 foot pounds into the head. So, but uh, be careful because it is aluminum. The head is 
uh, at least on the rabbits are aluminum um, now say if you're doing this to a 6-2 with cast iron heads I can uh, see where uh, your mileage may vary and you're going to want to find yourself a service spec for that okay make darn sure you got these threads nice and clean so that when you do put it back together it goes together now is this the right tool for the job probably not because uh, if these steel tines get uh, caught up in the injector, it's game over for the injector. Because, folks, you have to realize that break open pressure for this injector is 2,000 psi. That that's the pressure at which. This injector is set to actually fire off its charge. Now, if you do have a tester to test these, be absolutely careful because the actual fuel that's coming out of this thing is actually um, coming out faster than a bullet in a gun so so don't think that uh, you want to cut your finger off or inject diesel fuel into your fingers so Keep that in mind. All right, we got the top pretty well clear. Okay, we got it pretty well clear. Get the rest of the, these are Bosch injectors. These are the original Bosch injectors from 1981. That's as far as I can really tell is because um, looks like an Audi don't know if you can read it but Volkswagen Audi and Robert Bosch right there so yeah these are the original injectors because if you know if you've looked up the history of Volkswagen diesels, you'll know that they spent a lot of time with uh, the Bosch Corporation um, using a lot of their stuff to power their engines. Now, some people will say, oh, don't touch the tip. Uh, I say, clean the tip carefully, and you won't have a problem. Just a little bit of penetrant.
Now be careful when you're doing this because these ports are very small. So that came out nice. Now I'm going to do around it. One thing that surprises me is that these say that they were made in France. I would have thought for it being a Bosch product it would have been made in Germany. But, 81, that would be before the wall fell, right folks? Yeah, that should be before the wall fell, so would have been either West Germany or France yeah would have been either West Germany or France so and look at all that garbage that we've already taken off this injector It's a very time-consuming, tedious process, but uh, if you got the time to do it, um, believe in the book. They recommend you actually do this every fifty thousand miles. So there is that. Because they do say it's a, supposed to be a serviceable item. Which, uh, in a way, folks, it's nice because if... Apparently back in the day, you could get these and this and a lot of parts for these injectors uh, out on the open market. Uh, I would like to know of anybody that's actually ever found the parts to put it together because the one big thing that I feel I'm missing are these the washers uh, I they call them something different in the book and I just can't remember what they call them in the book I believe they call them a, I believe it's a spacer actually what they call it in the book. I call it a washer. So. Ugh. Make sure you get in on the inside of this or else uh, Or else you haven't really gotten the injector nozzle that clean. Now. Well, and I, I do believe that these are stainless. These, these have to be stainless, and that's probably why when I look them up at the auto parts store, they cost a fortune. Because it's not just how much machining they have to do on these. It's also the material that they are made out of. Now, if you feel any binding at all, like right there, I feel some binding. Go ahead and take it out. And 
run your lint free cloth through it again. Now it doesn't open up this far, folks. It it really opens up maybe about that far, but if it won't go the full stroke in my mind, it's not a good injector. And you see how I got it to just spin? It's still a little gummy at the back, but uh, And uh, make sure you lubricate these. Because these are tight fitting parts. And the reason I say use a penetrant oil is uh, penetrant oils usually have a solvent in them that will really allow you to lubricate the internals of the injector and break apart any debris that would be inside of it which that's going to cause your injector to hammer All right, I think we got that part clean. I think we got our barrel pretty well clean. Now let's work on the cap. So this part really, it sits right there on the spring and then the washer would sit down in there in the body so that you can actually uh, it, it's a very high high pressure hydraulic system folks so don't go messing around with it unless you actually know what the heck you're doing. So. And oh, of course. I do recommend wearing gloves because your hands will get freaking very dirty. So. Well, I do believe that we are ready to put it together. Put the washer in. Make sure that it's down in there. Put your spring in. Put the piece in. Put that on. Now see how well that just fell right out of there? Should do that. Now we put the cup on.
torque to spec and you're ready to go. Thanks for watching. Please comment, rate, subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one.